Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are with me today. Let's do another love reading for September and see how is your love life gonna look, what is coming your way. All right, you guys, I send you all much love and light. My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot. If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. Let's jump right in. Before I begin the reading, I just wanna take a moment to invite the white light, the whole Okay, Sagittarius, let's see. Uh, well, the High Priestess. The initials B and J are coming through. I wonder if some of you are in this energy of trying to find, trying to find balance, balance before balance before you can open up Sagittarius, let's see what is coming your way in your love life. Very interesting. So Aquarius and Capricorn energy is all here, as well as Libra. I wonder if you guys have that moon or rising, or maybe you have someone on your mind that has that energy, you know, sun, moon, or rising. Aquarius, Capricorn, and Libra. There's a person around you who's utterly disappointed by losing you. There's a there's a loss here and a sadness, a sadness about it. I wonder if someone feels like their own behavior was the problem. I wonder if they feel like their own behavior resulted in losing like the best thing that ever happened to them. And I don't say that to be colorful. You know, the star coming in reverse that Aquarius energy is the way that someone feels it's a tremendous loss of something that they will never get back. So maybe things have been rocky in a connection lately, or maybe some of you just have someone on your mind that you were connected to before, or just maybe you told someone that you can't be with them anymore. There's a lot of codependency here. There's a lot of toxicity that is involved in this connection. Yet there's a, a lot of love and a lot of affection as well. I, I say that because I see the way that someone is unhealthy. Capricorn, Aquarius, and Libra energy is all here, you guys. So maybe you have that moon or rising. There's an unhealthy energy coming from this person. It could even be addictions that they struggle with. I say that because I see where there's something that just like binds them, chains them. It's very hard for them to break free from it. And that energy is, it also creates like codependency. So maybe some of you are just dealing with a person where things have become very codependent and you don't know how to let go. You don't know how to be on your own. I see a shift in the energy and someone starting to think more level-headed. And maybe that's your energy. Maybe you're the one Sagittarius that decided that you have to take yourself out of the situation, remove yourself, maybe not have contact with, with this person anymore. I say that because the Eight of Wands is coming in reverse. I, I just see unhealthy, an unhealthy connection, like almost like an obsessiveness. 
I wonder if some of you have walked away from this person and then they're like chasing after you like crazy, blowing up your phone, um, being wherever you are. It is a very unhealthy energy and a codependency and like um, a control and this person just like won't let go. If you walked away from them, it was the right thing for you to do. And although they're sitting with everything now and they feel like they lost everything, maybe this person needs to go through that hard lesson in that phase in order to turn their energy around. Because there is like a struggle deep within them, something that they're fighting and you have had to bear the brunt of it. I can see that. So not talking to them is a good idea. I can see we're not talking to them, not accepting their phone calls, messages, or maybe you even have blocked them so they can't get through to you. It's something that has brought about a lot of clarity for you. Maybe you're a person who's already done this, or maybe you're someone who's thinking about doing all of this, like, should I stay, should I go? The message here is for you to walk away is for you to think about this from a very level-headed perspective not so much about how you feel bad for this person or like if i leave them what will happen to them what will they do you have to really focus on yourself and what's best for you right now i say that not to be insensitive about what's going on with this person i just see where they have a lot of like um a darkness a darkness that's all around them that you will have to keep bearing the brunt of and it's not something that's your responsibility to lift away from them they have to find their own way out of that darkness that darkness rep represents a lot of things i wonder what they've gone through in childhood i also wonder what it is that has like this attachment like there something's attached to them that like speaks to addiction all right that's important for you to know if you're wondering if you should walk away yes and if you have walked away you did the right thing and i would just say to keep this person, um, just to keep yourself away from them as you heal, as you find clarity. And when I tell you that they feel like they lost the best thing that ever happened to them, it is absolutely true. But don't let that guilt you into going back. You are the best thing that ever happened to them. I see how beautiful you are inside and out. Doesn't matter what your gender is, there's a true beauty that you have, a true, uh, like a spirituality. You shine. And I think that you are like a white entity involved with a dark entity. And I don't say that to put this person down. You just have to see the, the contrast. So some of you could have been involved in like karmic lessons where you chose to like invite a certain darkness into your life so you can experience from it. But you guys don't really belong together. Someone who's like a white light, I mean like a white entity, it's, it's your soul. And a person who has darkness within them, they're, they're never going to be on your level. They're never going to become a white entity like you and i'm not bashing them i'm just being honest with you about what it is so if you find like you went through the ringer in a connection and you don't know why i mean that's a big part of it uh, the karmic ties calling them in so you can go through certain experiences if you got out of that stay out of it don't let that darkness back into your life and I know that can sound kind of mean, especially if you still care for this person. So just know that I'm not saying that to be mean or to put them down. I'm saying that because it's what spirit wants you to know for your own uh, benefit. It's, it, it's not right. It's not right for you to consider going back to, to it. 
All right, Sagittarius, that is really, really important for you to know. The darkness that's around this person, I wonder if they're like uh, an alcoholic or if they're abusive. Okay, I want to look at this double energy. It's really important for you um, that you give yourself time to heal. And when they try to coax you back into being in a relationship with them, coax you back into like being a part of their life, you have to keep your guard up. Because I can see where there's a strong possibility that some of you are going to like let your heart soften to this person and let your guard down, but that is the absolutely worst thing that you can do. Don't do that. I mean, you're gonna do what you feel is best for you, but based on the energy that I can see here, you, I, I would just tell you to um, try to walk away from it, sincerely try to walk away from it. That doesn't mean to suppress how you feel, but uh, feel what you feel, but like talk to your friends, talk to your family about it. Don't like, let this person suck you right back into this dark place that they're in because it's not where you belong i wonder if being in that connection changed you if you take time out to just be alone you're gonna see the changes that it's made within you and i don't mean positive changes i mean struggles struggles with your self-esteem struggles with your security being very hard on yourself, believing what it is um, that this person says, taking accountability for, for their actions. I just see where it's very important that you stay away because there's so many different circumstances for some of you it's um this person is abusive for others of you they are struggling with addiction for others of you you were in a vulnerable place when you met and that's how they were able to like pull you in And for others of you, it's about the differences in your souls, the lightness and the darkness, inviting this person's energy in as a way to experience it and to learn from it. But now that you have, it's time for you to, it's time for you to still keep your guard up. Because I'm not telling you how they feel about you and what they long for to make you feel guilty and to make you feel like you have to give this person another chance. On the contrary, if you walked away, stay away. And if you're thinking about leaving, then you should leave. Okay, you guys, I want to look at this. Please don't don't fall for it because I just see so much energy here of a person who's going to give into it again. I just see it over and over and over and over. So if you know that this is a cycle that you've been on with this person, the back and forth, and if you've already gotten away, do not go back to it. And if you're thinking about leaving, you know that you should. Don't let this person convince you otherwise. Don't let anyone else convince you otherwise. Because it's going to be the same thing. You know, you, you may feel like you're going back to it to give it another chance, thinking that things are going to change. They haven't changed and they're not going to change because that's not the way the connection is set up. It's set up for you to have experiences with this person, to learn from it and move on from it. It's not meant that you're not meant to wallow away in this person's darkness. 
And I don't say that to like be mean or put them down when I keep referring to them as darkness, but there is no other way to refer to like the devil's energy, especially when it's compared to the star, which is like a white light. Okay, you guys, so there's just a lot of warnings because I see how it is very hard for someone to stay away because of the guilt that they feel leaving this person behind. But you should stay away. There's no um, there's no other way around it. And I don't mean to be frank or come across as rude, but you should stay away from this person. You have to uh, be honest with yourself about what's right in front of you and the history and, and what is going to keep repeating. Okay, you guys, that is what I can see. A very powerful message for whoever needs to hear it about, about a connection that they should absolutely uh, stay away from. And if you are away, don't go back to it. Okay, Sagittarius, that is what I can see for those of you that need to hear it. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Um, I know that the message is not the easiest to hear, but it's never intended to hurt you. It only comes from a place of love and light, and it's meant to be delivered to someone who needs that guidance. Okay, you guys? I love you so much, Sagittarius. I will catch up with you all in a few days. Thank you for everything. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, and I will talk to you guys soon.